Hey everyone, so as I promised in my latest haul video, I'm going to be looking at the Doctor Who book, the brilliant book of 2011. Um, this is the first book that has shocked me with its size. I don't know if, you, you, if you'll be able to really see how thick that is, but this is so thick and it is so heavy. How many pages is it? I should have checked this. Um, 130. So it is really thick compared to your sort of average annual. So that alone makes it brilliant. Plus this is sort of quite surprising a lot of the things in here make it really quite an interesting read. It's not like a typical annual because um, of course you have the Doctor Who 2011 annual. Um, so first of all the cover itself is really gorgeous and you've got loads of creatures on the back. The Zikorax, Alex Kingston, Arthur Darville, loads of them there. So I'm not going to take you through each page as such. Like I'm not going to go as, into as much detail as, them, as I do um, with annuals because we will be here all day. But um, there's your sort of contents page spread all over the place with Matt and Karen there. Now I'll take you through the bits I like the best. Okay, so you have the welcome page with a gorgeous picture there. And then you have loads of little bits about the doctor and oh my god, look at it. Look at that. Um it's sort of a little a little facts page about about Matt. The eleventh hour we go through the first episode there in more detail and Carol looks so funny like that. I don't ever remember thinking of her like that. Then we have the map for the old little sweet village, which is nice. Quite a fun little feature. Um, then we have the TARDIS, inside the TARDIS, and facts about the TARDIS. And then we have, this is actually kind of creepy. We have a sort of raggedy doctor page. And it really is kind of sinister and creepy in all the different drawings. It makes me think, that's just warped. <laughs> it really is, but it is. It's really fun. Um, and then we have the beast below. So it does take us through episodes individually and like behind the scenes things and facts about them then we have bits about Karen and um, I love the bagpipes it's um, facts about her and how about she played Amy and it's all sort of a little interview with her which is really nice then we have Victory of the Daleks so we go through that episode and um, FYI we're not even on like a fifth of the way through this um, the Victory of the Daleks poster I'm dying to get hold of one of them to put on my wall Dun, 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 dun. Making music, how all the themes are made. If you haven't got any of the the um, albums, do get them. Um, and then we have a little story, which is which is a nice read. But I'm not a massive fan of short fiction when it comes to them. Um, the Time of Angels, all the new Angel episodes, which I don't like. Um, I don't like them much. <laughs> River's Cosmic Closet, which I thought was a kind of cute little feature. I like Chris Cleopatra down there. That's really nice. Um. Then we have Flesh and Stone, making Doctor Who behind the scenes features, which are always my favourite bits because I love to see how it's all done and things. Um, and that's the little flyaway ones. I always, well, I kind of knew how they were done, it's kind of common sense, but um, I went a really bit too close to the camera there. Um, the Vampires of Venice, I forgot about that episode, even though it's one of my favourites now. Um, so that's perhaps not a good thing. Um, that goes on for a few pages. And then we have some the Jadoon case fires, fires, files. So that's taken us quite a bit further back. You know, that's a series three image there, which is really nice. And um, but I kind of wish that this was kept fresh, and um, with no memories of the previous seasons, because I do get a little bit choked up still. The Dream Lord teasers, which is kind of well, I will let you read them yourself. Cause it's weird. Amy's Choice, one of my favourites, but it is it is so. Well, it is so upsetting. I don't like to watch it, but I do. Um, we have Arthur Darvall's turn. Um, again, interview questions and little fact files and questions about Rory. Um, the Hungry Earth now. Which is probably the least favourite. I didn't really like it that much, to be honest. Then we have The Little Planet. Um, another story, that one written by David Llewellyn, who has written some of the books and I believe some of the Torchwood books, if I'm not mistaken. Cold Blood. Um, again, not a favourite. Then we look at the Silurians in more detail, which is nice. Um, nice little feature, and that goes on for quite a few pages. Vincent and the Doctor, which was actually one of my favourite episodes. Um, so I really did enjoy reading that section. And um, then go. Um, how to write for Doctor Who, sort of top tips for how to write a script and everything. Um, if I'm not, I don't, I, I don't, I don't really do fiction because I get really bored of the stories I write. Um, but if any of you are writing into scripts, then that's really nice. Um, 
larger. A really good episode, but I'm not a massive fan of James Corden, so... So, you know. And then we have part two of a story we read previous. So, obviously, you need to read the first part to read the second part. Then we have the Pandorica opens... For some reason, whenever I think of the Pandorica, I think of David being the doctor, not Matt. Even though I know I know it was Matt who was the doctor, but I've just got these these images inside my head of of, of David doing the scenes that Matt did, and it's really kind of weird because I can't get them out of my head. And then we have the, the Big Bang, which you know is is really fun. If you look at that picture of um, Karen's cousin, she really looks like her. Which I know it's kind of common sense, but I mean, I don't look like any of my cousins. Um, and then we just have a few more facts there. <laughs> and um, this is kind of a funny picture there. Don't listen to Hitler, he's rubbish. I'm a bit obsessed with learning about Hitler, so I, I find that really cute. Um, and then we have the little wedding album. Which is nice. Um, and then we have building the new Daleks. The behind the scenes of the new Daleks and how they look. And then we have, oh this is so funny, do the junk, junk giraffe, do the drunk giraffe, little step by step dance like Matt at the wedding, yeah that's a kind of weird way to finish a book, but it is really cute and then we have a gorgeous promo shot there at the back. So it is a really really fun entertaining book with lots of really great features, it's much better than an annual, I hope they do with the brilliant book of 2012. Um, what day, hang on let me check, this video is getting uploaded on, bear with me one moment, on Sunday. So the new series of Doctor Who would have already aired by the time I upload this. Um, my video will be up tomorrow, which will be the Monday, um, of my thoughts of the first episode of season 6. I cannot wait. Very excited to see that. Hoping it delivers, hope it's not that bad. Um, I hope we don't end up with River, Rory and Amy all in the TARDIS. Um, so I, obviously that would just be chaotic um, also I will I believe there will be a tribute to Elizabeth Sladen on CBBC just after it I will not be watching that because I, I, I've said my goodbyes and I've kind of come to terms with it now so I can't really um, I don't really want to watch that because I will cry um, so I don't know how I'm ever going to watch School Reunion again and that will be disastrous yeah um, yeah, but if you haven't got this, do look out for it at RRP's at uh, 12 99 which is a bit pricey, but it's on Amazon for, you know, a lot cheaper. So go and check it out and have a look and find it. Um, please feel free to leave comments and suggestions, but that's it for just now, so I'll see you all later. Bye!